Walked in the woods my whole life. Seen it not as I do lately. I uh, used to run through them as a young man with a little BB gun and, and used to ride through some of them with horses. And I've slowed my pace quite a lot and I've noticed things in more of a detail. And when I s see the river in the trees here, what comes out of me onto the paper is not what you see with the naked eye, but at the end, I think I can still turn around and see that sight and that's this setting. I think putting yourself into a scene is something I've found that is inexplicable, but that is what it is because if walking around the woods all my life, I have, I've looked at them and now I'm interpreting it in a brand new way. I've photographed and painted things before, but not in this style. I think one brings experiences from your whole life to a painting that you're doing in the present at, of one view. I think that there are forests that I've seen in Europe, different parts of Canada, north, in the Northwest. Every tree I've ever seen, I think, comes out in this. I love the river and the trees here. It's what inspired me. I've never been a realist. I tore up every fucking thing I did that was no good and started again. This is what I like to do. Impressionism. It's a very cathartic thing. You, just, uh, you can spend hours just concentrating and you, you lose yourself in it. And getting a feel for the color. It's very difficult to say why, we, you know, you test a spot, that's it. You go. And I think they've had some success here. It's they're different colors. Painting is my passion now. It's the interpretation of everything I've done and seen into a particular scene that I choose. I started with those broad strokes of the trees and then it just kept coming up. But that's the beauty of watercolors is that you can just keep layering on and until you find the rhythm, find the feeling. What are you feeling? And that's what I was feeling. I don't know how Impressionism is supposed to work, but I do kind of squint my eyes a little and try and get the feeling of it and transport that, use all the colors that I can. And then I say what watercolors is that you can layer over. You can look at it again, you can lay it over. So this is my kind of art. If you say you're an artist and you produce something, you're an artist. <laughs> So some crucial hours were spent doing the detail of the water on the trees. And that's when I found it very gratifying. And found myself in deep concentration where time would go by, two hours would go by like nothing. If somebody likes it, it's good art. It's a work of art now. It's whether what do you think of it, it's it's a piece of art. And I've finished it. So I'm happy. And I'll continue. <laughs>